Uh, comrade leader, considering what I have done for you today, I, I beg you to agree to... No! Gratitude is an illness suffered by dogs. Do you think I'm a dog? Uh, no, uh, of course not. I ordered you to look through the telescope. I'm waiting. I don't like this. Comrade Leader, uh, where are you deporting them? <laughs> deporting? To the other side. The train's going to the forest outside the city. There, they'll be executed. Uh, but... that's monstrous. I beg you, be merciful. Be quiet, or I'll stop being nice. Their lives are of no value to me, to communism. Matryoshka functions so perfectly because any hostile, seditious element is immediately uprooted and eliminated. And since weeds easily spread, we remove their entire surroundings to be sure. And it works. Uh, I'm not feeling well. I need to go outside. You all deserve each other. Get yourself a trophy from the closet as a reward for discovering Vlad's treason. Hello. Connect me with the head of the secret police. Prepare a list of everyone Minister Vlad to the leader was in for being with great. in the past five years. To the leader for being... Yes, in chronological order, most recent first. Oh, and check up on that major for unparalleled Oloka, if you have anything on her. No, nothing like that. But I think she knows... As the saying much. goes, even the leader can't pour from Without an empty vessel. Least. Get him and his whole family onto the train and execute them. Execute There's no point in combining these. Ah ha! I'll get a Pulitzer for my article. Uh -huh. article uh -huh. I'm raising for that. Yeah, that's that's that I take it back. Don't execute me. Execute that. that. Comrade! Anna, don't be fooled by my disguise. Huh? It's me! Evan! I know, Evan. It's completely obvious. What happened? Why the sad face? Everything has gone straight to hell since we spoke on the Metro. I don't even know where to begin. The leader? <laughs> what? Brace yourself. The leader's not at all the man everyone thinks he is. He's not a vile tyrant? No! He's a vile ty- Wait, what? I'm glad you figured it out yourself. Now, everything else should come easier. I heard it all myself. How he ordered the execution of not only the captured revolutionaries, but also their families, friends, colleagues, everyone. Why did he do that? Apparently, they've already captured a bunch of them and loaded them onto a train. Once they're outside the city, They'll all be killed. Damn. I didn't think it was that bad. That's horrible. Those people are innocent. Why? Why would he do this? I've believed in him my entire life. I'm sorry. You know, even revolutionaries should have the right to express their views. I know what it's like. In the States, I was the outsider. Persecuted for my views. Judged at wine and cheese parties. I'm sorry, Evan. Anna. I think my heart is broken. Ever since I was a kid, he was a role model for me, an ideal, and... Today he turned out to be... A monster. Damn him. Damn him to hell. I risk my life for him, travel across the world for him, and this is what he does?! Evan, pull yourself together. Breathe. But, but wait, since you already knew, uh, why did... I'll explain in a minute, but first, tell me everything that happened after we met. I need to know where we stand. Okay, um... Uh, when the light went out, someone came up on my left and stole all my rupiekas. Uh, it was about... Stop, stop! Evan, could you maybe limit everything to just the important facts? Tell me about the conspirators. Oh, right. The head conspirator turned out to be... Vlad, that much I know. Jeez, 
Spoiler alert. Uh, anyways, I didn't get to the meeting because that bastard arrested me and threw me in prison. As soon as he left, I escaped. Over at the Ministry, I got a photo confirming his involvement in the conspiracy to assassinate the leader, and I just warned the leader about Vlad, like, five minutes ago. Oh! Oh no! Evan! What? God damn it! What? That was our plan, wasn't it? No, not at all. Did anything else happen that I should know about? Let me think. Um, in the control center at the Ministry of War, I let all the prisoners out of their cells. Oh, wow, that's wonderful. But then I looked through the leader's telescope and saw most of them being arrested again. Think they're most likely going to be executed. Probably, uh, because of the escape attempt. Oh, for the love of... That's not wonderful, that's terrible. Uh, all right, I told you what I know. Uh, now it's your turn. Okay. So, don't be mad, but I didn't bring you to Matryoshka to save the leader. What? The leader is a disease that is eating away at Matryoshka. There's only one thing worse than him. Vlad? Very perceptive of you. Yes, Vlad. We found out that... We? Uh, who is we? The Resistance. I am the co-founder of the Resistance, Evan. Really? I mean, uh, right, of course. <laughs> I should have known. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't tell you the truth from the beginning, but there was no other way. No other way? You literally just mentioned another way. You could have told me the truth from the beginning. I feel manipulated. If I would have told you back in the States that the leader was evil and I wanted help overthrowing him, would you have come? Hmm. Probably not. See? You had to experience it yourself. To live like we live. It truly was the only way. Okay, that may be, but why me? We found out that Vlad is planning a coup. We planned on waiting for him to deal with the leader. Then we would remove him and replace him with... You, for a bit. You'd declare publicly on television that the leader, you know, went abroad or something, and that you would be handing power over to the people. Us. Holy jeez, that's clever. Oh, and, and what if the agents back in the States had stopped me from leaving? They almost did, you know. They only appeared to. The Resistance has been working closely with the station government from the start. The agents only came to your house to further engage you and to throw off any of Vlad's spies. We couldn't be sure how far his reach extended. What about my parents? They also knew that they... Your parents work for the state's government, Evan. What? <laughs> no, they don't. They tell me everything. Did they ever tell you that you're adopted? Yes, actually, they did. I know I'm not their biological son, but that has nothing to do with their jobs. They're not spies. Don't get mad at me. I'm just telling you what I know. It didn't seem strange that your mother knows martial arts, throws knives like a pro, and has utensils with the Fringe Intelligence Agency logo? You didn't notice that your father has a collection of weapons in the basement that could equip a small army. You never wondered why they always got calls from strange people every day at the exact same time? Do you remember how, as a child, you found a hidden camera in the toy bunny? How do you know all this? I read your file. My what? You've got a folder at the FIA almost as thick as the leader. But that's a conversation for another time. So my entire trip here was one big lie. What about the conference where we met? I wrote the invitation. And the inspection at the airport. That was a random occurrence. Not everything could be controlled. We only found out about Vlad's plans recently. What about the leader's head of security? The one I freed from the hotel? That's one of the leaders of the Resistance. I don't know how I should feel about this. You used me like... Like a tool. Like a tool that gets used! I'm sorry, Evan. I only hope you can forgive us. Forgive me. It's for the greater good. We've got bigger problems to worry about. What do we do now? Since you warned the leader, Vlad's plan isn't going to work. The element of surprise is gone. Wait. I think I have an idea. 
While escaping the prison, I heard that the signal to begin the attack on the leader will be the detonation of his statue in the courtyard. Do you think we can... Yes! Let's hit the leader and get those mad dogs after us. Then we'll run to the station and stop the train carrying everyone who was arrested. Let's get to it! Just, please, don't pull a Leroy Jenkins. According to the sign on the door, it... It's almost spring and it's... An encrusted gilded souvenir tank... An encrusted gilded... Easy Japanese. That idea is str that idea. It worked. It worked. The loading tray working. Here, doggy, have some sausage. Commander, find out what's going on in the courtyard and arrest those responsible for that noise. <sighs> Turn off the security system. It's too sensitive. Do something about it. Comrade! Over here! Follow me! To the leader's chambers! have had enough. In this country, I decide who thinks what. Not for long. Exactly. Without me, this country will fall. It will flourish. I couldn't care less about the country. Drop your weapon. Drop yours, traitor. That's an order. In the name of the people of Matryoshka. Oh, look who it is. <laughs> I won't fall for that. Neither will I. You all deserve each other. I'm here, Anna. Just in time. Do you have a weapon? Uh, I I had a gun earlier, but I hate weapons, so uh, I gave it away. I'm disappointed in you, Ivan. You stand with traitors instead of defending your family? Family? My family? I knew all along. Ivan, meet your twin brother, Vlad. Brother? Twin? I thought he was just my doppelganger. You are? Uh, no, you. That idiot can't be my brother. That thug can't be my brother. I'm sorry, Evan, but it's true. Wait, so if he's my brother, and he's also the son of the leader's brother, then I'm also the son of the leader's brother. That is, his nephew. A real genius, that one. Idiot. Boys, don't fight. Ivan. Go see where my security went, and get them here this instant. You'll get Vlad's position and everything he's accumulated over the years. You must be dreaming. You're dead, uncle. Major Orlova, shoot the leader at once. That's in order. Both of you, drop your weapons and surrender. And maybe we'll only sentence you to life. The nerve. So stupid. I, I don't want to be his nephew. Or his brother. You don't choose your family. <laughs> yeah, you do. Evan, shoot the old man and I'll make you my right-hand man. Don't trust him. I know. I'm counting to three in my head. And then I'm firing. My fingers starting to itch. Evan, do something. Huh. 
That idea is... That idea... I don't want to burn it. It's too small to cut that thick curtain. I don't want to hurt it. I don't want to. Uh, yes. Everything okay? But it's got loose stands. But those two are going to be out for a while. Are you gonna be okay? Can I go rescue the prisoners from execution? Yes. Hurry. But be careful. It's quite ironic that the leader used the Iron Curtain to separate Matryoshka from the rest of the world, and now the Curtain has imprisoned him. Stop the train, now! Yes, Comrade Minister. Uh, and one more thing. Can I contact Army Command on this radio? Yes, Comrade Minister. Putting your throat now. This is Army Command awaiting orders, Comrade Minister. In the name of the leader, I order you to cease all military operations at once. All troops are to immediately return to the barracks. The arrested revolutionaries are to be set free. Set free? But... Comrade Leader has declared universal Amnesty! Universal amnesty? Yeah! Did you hear what the minister said? They let our relatives out of prison! <laughs> oh, forgive me, Comrade Minister, I, I just... Don't apologize, General. Just go. Yes, Comrade Minister, sir. Phew. A breath away from disaster. <sighs> I think everything's finally on the right track. Vlad and the leader have been knocked out. The people of Matryoshka are taking matters into their own hands. The prisoners have been rescued. And the humble journalist, Evan Kowalski, is still in one piece. Even though I lost my favorite jacket and Matryoshka turned out to be completely different from how it was described in the books, I'll fondly remember this adventure. At least I learned something from all of this. I don't really need to think about that. I learned that sometimes it's worth verifying in practice what you've only read about. And a game designer can be a real troll. Be careful what you wish for, it might come true.
I traveled far from home to see the most wonderful place in the world. Instead, I found people crawling over dead bodies to get what they want. But I also found hope. People with big hearts and courage. Together, we achieved unbelievable things. We've taken that hope past the borders that seemed unreachable before. It's nice to finally rest knowing that the world now stands united and safe.